Well, hello there, fellow modelers. Let me show you my recent purchase. I'm going to be building a P51 Mustang. Uh, this is one of my. Uh, this is the uh, my favorite airplane of all time. I just love the look and the lines of this of this aircraft. And I've been dying to build one for a very long time. Uh, this particular kit is from Dragon. It's a uh, 130, 130 second scale. Uh, so it's fairly big. And um, I thought I'll, I'll do a video about the build, of the, of the building and uh, post a couple of updates here and there. Uh, this will probably be a quite lengthy build and it'll take some time. So, uh, but I'll try to post the videos regularly where I'll give, a, you know, give update as I go along and my thoughts and opinion, whatever it is I'm doing. So, first off, I'm going to show you uh, the contents of the box here and um, a couple of things you get, we'll get with the kit. It is a fairly um, high quality kit and it did cost a little bit more uh, as Dragon kits uh, tend to do. And, uh, but, but yeah. I'm gonna roll a clip here and show you what's in the box and I'll be right back and talk more about it. Bye bye. Okay, so what I'm thinking with this kit is uh, I want to do some electronics. So I'm going to try to put a backlight in the cockpit of the um, yeah in the cockpit behind the dashboard, and uh, also the um, alternating lights on the edge of the wings as well as uh, the tail light here is a white light that I will be trying to light and uh, beneath under the wing there's also a couple of signal lights, uh, three signal lights that also need lighting so it's, uh, it's a fairly... Um, I've never done it before so uh, hopefully it will go okay uh, but uh, most importantly what I think will look really cool is I'm gonna have an an electric motor powering the the um, the prop, so it'll actually spin, and I'll mount it all on a base, um, and have a little on-off switch on the uh, on the edge of the base there. So uh, that's what I'm thinking, and um, basically I'm gonna do a, um, a the color scheme I'm doing. Is um, is the one on the box art? Here I'll show you. Uh, this is uh, pretty much it, where the the nice shiny chrome on the side here and underneath as well. And these um, these checkerboard patterns here are actually uh, transfers or decals, if you will, that that'll just be applied. Uh, and that's the uh, standard uh, um, kind of ol olive drab color on top of the plane. So I'm basically doing this setup, and uh, but most important importantly, it'll be uh, some electronics in there, and the, I'm gonna have the the uh, propeller actually spinning. So that'll probably be fun, frustrating, and take a really long time, but I'm gonna try to do it. So. Um, I prepared a uh, circuit or the circuit that I'm actually gonna go on the base to power this model, and I'll show you that in the next clip. 
and um, and I'll tell a little more more about it. So uh, let's jump to that. And this is the circuit. Uh, this is a prototype board that I uh, soldered um, a couple of uh, components to. I'll put a um, I'll put a picture up here of the diagram I used. This is in the uh, I added a couple of bits to this, but this is the blinking part. And uh, I'll add a couple of resistors uh, to power some white LEDs and a motor for the for the um, propeller. So let me show you how it works. I'll start it here. I think I need to turn off the lights here first. You can see better. All right. As you can see, these are just uh, three white lights grouped together. And uh, obviously they are not going to stay grouped together. One will uh, probably be powering the, uh, the tail section, the tail light of the plane. Uh, one I will try to have um, to light the inside of the cockpit. And then one for the, um, the their kind of uh, indicator lights beneath one of, the, one of the wings. I'll show you later. And of course at each wingtip we'll have a green and one red alternating um, alternating pattern here. Yeah, and of course you could probably hear it, the uh, the electric motor here that will power the fan. So let me turn this off. So I'm not a uh, electronic engineer uh, by any means, I'm just a hobbyist. Uh, so I'm not gonna try to explain to you what I've done here. Um, I'll leave that to the professionals. If you're interested in electronics, I, electronics, I, I highly recommend uh, here on YouTube checking out um, Afromod. Afromod is a, um, a channel as well as uh, the, the maker Make, Maker's Channel, the Collins Lab on Maker's Channel. Uh, but yeah, for, to my uh, to my um, model here, this this is the underneath part uh, of, of the plane, and on the um, uh, one side here, you can see these three holes. These will house um, signal lights uh, that that the the pilot could um, uh, communicate with the uh, with the uh, Allied forces on the ground. And I'm gonna have them all shining a constant light. And these are three different colors. I can't remember them on top of my head, but uh, I believe there's a red and maybe a green or something. But these, uh, there's a clear plastic part in the kit that's slotted in from the other side, and then I'll just paint with a transparent color the correct, uh, the correct colors. And then I'll have one of these white lights. Uh, I'm gonna use the red one here because it's kind of more loose here. We'll be sitting something like this and uh, I'll probably have to dig it down a bit, bit to get it to actually fit. And it'll be sandwiched within the wing. Uh, and it'll be shining on this uh, clear plastic piece and the light will hopefully not leak and come out here. For the uh, alternating lights um, this, uh, the, uh, the lights at the end of the the wings here. There's also a little clear plastic piece that I'll slot in this little groove here. I don't know if you can pick up on the camera, but yeah, here we go. Uh, they'll slot there, and obviously it's not gonna fit in here. These are all three millimeter uh, LEDs, and they will not fit in here. So what I'm gonna do for, to get around that is I have some. Uh, one millimeter, I believe it's one millimeter uh, fiber optics that will uh, lead the light to where I need it. So, if you don't know how fiber opt optics work, I'll show you a real quick here. I'll plug this together. You know what? Let's, uh, let's take that off. It makes too much noise. Noise. Plug it here. Okay. So. I'll be having the, uh, the lights, be having it up to the light like this, and then leading it to the edge of the wing. 
Let me show you. And you are able to see it, hopefully, like that, at the end of the uh, fiber optic here. So hopefully that will give a nice spread uh, instead of just a little glint, but at least there's something there. So these uh, two are probably going to be in the main body, uh, right behind the cockpit, and there's a lot of room there. There's a lot of room there for uh, for the um, for the LEDs as, as well as with these um, one of the white ones. There'll be a fiber optic going to the tail section. This is the tail section of the plane. There will be fiber optics to uh, power a little little this little lamp that's supposed to go on there. So I'll cut that off. Uh, it's just plastic, and have my uh, uh, fiber optics uh, kind of sticking out there. So, and that will be a white constant light. Uh, I'm gonna clean this mess up and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of other things I've been thinking about. Okay, this is the base. This is a picture frame that I modified. It's just a uh, cheap oh, 3 euro uh, surplus store bod picture frame uh, and I, um, I changed it up a bit and um, hot glued this plate here uh, anyway this will be the, the top side of it and I'll have these brass rods supporting you know, the, the airplane from it probably need to have some uh, piece of wood or something to drill through to, uh, to have enough support for the um, for the plane to actually sit, sit on this. Uh, this particular one is, uh, I believe it's a five millimeter. I'm probably gonna use a eight millimeter brass tubing because all the, um, all the wires won't fit through this. But you get the idea. And this is uh, high enough to hide all the electronics and um, you know, the, the batteries and, and whatnot. So that's all going to be on there, and I'll have a little button on the side to turn it off and on. So this is what I'm thinking, and uh, hopefully it'll all work out good. Uh, I'll not just end up getting mad and throwing it away. I probably won't, but you know, this is my first uh, first time um, actually uh, doing electronics on a, on a on a model. And uh, yeah, I'm. We'll see how we'll see how it works out. It'll probably be uh, all fine and dandy. So uh, stay tuned for a couple of updates, and I'll show you, uh, you know, as I go along, a couple of things I'm doing. So uh, thanks so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.